have give, given the article to which you can read later, superhydration contributes 50% to the solution. Then next, we call it system detox. And third is supplementation. Then the last four steps is the preventive care. Now I'll go more details on the superhydration. <coughs> Remember I told you the cells live in the liquid environment of the body we call the body fluids. Those body fluids maintain three major parameters. First is clarity, negative charge, what we call um, the physiology, dielectric phenomena of the body system. In physics, we say light charges repair, right? But in medical practice, cellular medicine, light charges must be charged. That's biomedicine. The idea is, if the internal system maintains a negative charge, physiologically, negative 60, if you want to always remain healthy, you have to introduce a negative fluid into the system. Because whenever anybody is sick, no matter the process, one goes into oxidative stress. So that person is highly positively charged. So this is like a counter process for the pathological uh, proliferations of these cells, isolated cells that cause all these disease occurrences. The next is what we know, what most companies talk about, but not the main, alkalinity. Alkalinity only affects the GI, GIT. But negative, when you have the ORP negative oxidation reduction potentials of your food system, if it's negative, it affects the entire 12 systems of the body. And again, organ approach. We now have the normal lifespan for the organs at 70, 75. But in cellular medicine, okay, through the biochemical researches we've been doing in San Francisco, California, and Moscow, Russia, the cells collectively contribute 10 years of lifespan to every system of our body. In our body, we have to have system. But cellular lifespan is what we use to justify the longevity of an individual. So 12 by 10, mathematically, is 120. So every person, irrespective of race, irrespective of your culture, everyone should have actually live 120. But on organ level, we talk about 775. Now, this theory, for you to sustain it, because those body fluids, where these cells live, and like their habitats, the greatest among them is the blood. We don't miss to send people to full FBC, full blood count. What are we trying to do? Just to check the parameters of the blood, which ones have been dead, which one have you been infiltrated? This is one way. But the ideology, we do this when the problem is occurring. So how can we make a preventive care such that we can condition the body system, fluid system, such that the blood doesn't easily get a problem? So that's the whole idea. Because 70% of us, from, let me start from the fetal age. After first trimester, from second trimester, third trimester, we have the fertile age. Usually, the, within the amniotic fluid, maintains a fluid level of ORP negative. Oh, you have to blow the battery. Uh, ORP levels of minus 160 millivolts. Now, the optimal pH within the amniotic fluid is 8.0. Just take note of this 8.0. When that child is born, so we categorize. This is what you find in our textbooks, the usual physiology textbooks. But I'm trying to show you the cellular levels based on from baby children and the adults. It's only the adults reflection they put in the textbook and in ger geriatric medicine how the parameters are. One year to two years, the fluid composition is between 80 to 90 percent. The organs are still forming. Maintains a negative fluid power arrogate levels of minus 80 millivolts and a pH of 7.7. .7. Growing children 3 to 15, 7 to 75, minus 60, pH of 7.5. This is what you find in our test books, 70% of body fluids. Where this uh, whole, and these are the main body fluids of the body. Greatest among them in the blood. Maintains negative fluid, minus 60, 7.35 to 7.45. Now it's kind of gender specific, depending on also kind of cultural uh, standards of that person and race. Then. Old people's uh, medicine, geriatric medicine, we classify plus 65 at old because they have 65% of fluid. That's the simple meaning because they've lost 5% and that's why they have wrinkles, the old people. So anybody plus 65 maintains 65% of body fluids, minus 57 and 7.3. Once, based on the dielectric phenomenon, we are treating our patients. The patient comes to us. 
we have to prescribe drugs. Already, that patient is undergoing oxidative stress. We give those drugs, we're putting that patient, yes, the drug has to work because it has to react to find the intruder causing us problem. The idea is you're prescribing medication, you're also putting that patient under more oxidative stress. So how do we counter why you're doing, trying to achieve a therapeutic goal? You have to put that patient on a negative medium if you're treating that patient. So that's my advocacy. Because when I came back, the first contact was with the Federal Ministry of Health. They invited me. I made a presentation to them. They saw these values. And currently, they gave a memo to the CNDs and MDs of all tertiary hospitals in Nigeria, which last uh, December also made a presentation to them. They saw the value to inculcate this in a hospital practice. Because if you practice this as a physician, you have faster outpatients, quicker recovery times. We don't stop what we do. So the idea is make a model whereby you don't go further for organ damage because of the oxidative stress levels of that patient. Now, the idea is negative 60 is the norm. So we encourage individuals for the super hydrated model. It comes from the water you drink. That water you're drinking, hydration means based on volume. What health protocols? You have to drink 30 ml in one kg of your weight. That's the whole idea. If somebody, I take a 50 kg healthy man, I do 50 by 30 ml, that's 1.5 liters. That's for if it's in a normal temperature, but we're in Africa. We do extra to 50 ml as a maximum hydrated level for Africans. So that if I have a 50 kg man, the minimum water intake based on volume, that's hydration, will be 1.5. The maximum will be 1.75. The thing behind it is pathophysiology. Uh, if you're always having the habit of drinking excess of water, you have the tendencies to form hemocytes and cysts. You have our viral cysts in women. The cysts will form first before you easily get infected. Because once it forms into a foreign body, then they easily get infected. Kidney hemocytes, accumulation of fluid. Now, if you take less water, sometimes we ask the sub uh, suggestive questions, the volume of water people take. If you take less water, you have the tendencies to form stones. Kidney stone go bladder stone. It means the body is taking its own fluid and there's a calcification process within that organ. So the ideology is we maintain a right volume. Then the next question is right quality. The right quality has to be negatively charged because your internal environment is negative 60. Then I'll tell you why we actually fall ill easily. And that's purely cellular medicine based. And the next. It doesn't work. Can we get the picture versions? Okay, no problem, we'll try. This is a pH scale, I'll try to explain. Zero to 14, pH scale. Remember, the healthy person is minus 60 millivolt. OROP is the main parameter, not alkalinity, as people say. Alkalinity works on one system, negative works on the entire uh, body system. And these are the privileges it gives. Uh, five characteristics. That field, to be in a dielectric phenomenon, the fluid has to be clear, that's what the government companies have achieved. Clarity, nobody drinks from water. You have to drink a clear water, that's one. Secondly, it's alkalinity based on the GI. After our brain, the second brain of a man is the colon. That's the, but anyway, the men uh, have third brain. Generally for everybody, the second brain is the colon. For the men, the third brain is the prostate or a second heart, as you want to say it. The idea here is, pH 0 to 14. This is the active life zone based on cellular medicine. If you maintain 8 to 9, remember you're 7.35 to 7.45. That's the normal pH of the internal body system. But you don't have to maintain that limit. You have to go more alkalinity in order to help the buffer system work well based on the liver cleaning because the detail of the liver is to clean the blood. Now, we tell you to maintain 8 to 9, not more than 9. That's the recommendation. But this is what people do. Healthy person. Let's take corrosive acid is about plus 10,000 millivolts. The individual is minus 60. Of course, when, you, when people attack people with corrosive acid, you, of course, there will be severe bonds. 10,000 millivolts has to burn down minus 60. The next is IOD. The halogens are very toxic. Iodine, betadine is for external use. Nobody can drink iodine. Some, but some doctors used to ask, okay, how about the goitan iodide salt? Now, iodine comes in two forms. The micronutrients, 
that's what you did in your salt, and for trying to alleviate preventing goiter. Then the macro nutrients is what we use in surgeries. It's for anti-inflammatory and also for um, antiseptic purposes. Nobody drinks iodine. Iodine is plus 7,000 7, millivolts. Now, the next people take intake of uh, alcohols. We talk about the heart spirits. That's the next category. The Hennessy's, the vodka, and we all. They are plus 5,000 millivolts. So whenever you take this thing for satisfaction, you're actually putting the liver to do more work. A healthy person. You move towards all the whole lifestyle, beer, coffee, uh, black tea, they all locate here. But the ideology of cellular expert is, I feel I have to do this, drink this to feel good. But by the end of the day, have you put the system on a negative ORP? But when you don't put the system on a negative ORP, you are also having a tendency for a quicker organ damage. It doesn't mean when you drink it immediately there will be the problem, but it's on a prolonged exposure that you have these challenges. So that's what we encourage people. Once you're healthy, maintain negative 60. Once you're handling any case, you're prescribing medication, we encourage the patients to then take negative 120, two times the norm, in order to put the cells under energetic mood. Now, you make the water uh, ultra-structural. How do you make the negative fluid? Because water is H2O. So we developed in US um, what we call reduced form, free hydrogen. H2O, you know, you have hydrogen and oxygen. Then we create a free hydrogen molecule to the water you're drinking, making it ultra structural. Water normally doesn't cross any brain barrier, but once you make the water negative, it can cross any brain barrier of your body. Next, remember I told you the old man, the 7.3. Then I normally like to say this to practitioners. In Europe, we like to do autopsies before we send to the mortuary. I notice here they don't really do it. The pH, now we are trying to, first thing, when there's a trauma case, they bring to the emergency unit, we normally ask the nurses to set the IV lines in order to rehydrate that patient. When we're losing the patient, clinical death. Now, biological death, the pH of a dead man is 7.2. So anything closer to neutral is not good to the cells as a rule. The minimum admissible is 7.3, which is of call, can be admissible for the geriatric medicine, plus 65. So it's recommended that every individual that is living should be on 8 to 9 as a rule. The existence of coral health modalities, the best water drinkable in the world is in Switzerland, 50 CL, plus 20 millivolts. That is plus 20, is the closest to your minus 60. That's the idea, before the invention of free hydrogen molecules into the water system. So what's the whole idea for any kind of health case scenario? Initially, I stopped at the inflammatory processes or you're giving drugs, minus 120. If you have a chronic problem or a genetically limb problem, we encourage those individuals. If you don't want it to reflect on you, be on minus 180 in the fluid. If you're already having a challenge, also be on the same one, minus 180. Now, for the cancer patient, there's something I'm working out with the National Hospital. He has an idea about it for the cancer patient. You shut down proliferation of oncological process. Once the negative fluid of the body is minus 300. So we are planning a chemotherapy radiotherapy. It's a severe dosing of more oxidative stress to the patient. So what we're trying to say is, I would do my chemo and, and radio, but I have to put the patient in the negative 300, not to have the challenges of more oxidative stress. Because survival rates, when you do chemo without the, without, without the ORP negative of the body fluid system, survival rate is almost less than 30% for severe malignant forms. Now, when you put the patients off uh, on ORP negative, about uh, minus 300 millivolts, survival rate goes above 60%. So these are based evidence we have analyzed and what prevents us to practice it. Yes, we are doing the autologous practice, but nothing prevents us to do something more in addition to what we do to have a better outcome. That's the whole idea. So that's on super hydration. Now the second step, we call it system detox. I told you earlier, the second brain of a man is the colon. No matter where the toxicity is happening within you, there's a evacuation process that is expected that it has to go to the large colon. Every organ of our body has a portion in the large colon where they deposit these toxins. Slag and toxins, we call it. Now, if you're taking a negative fluid, if that bad isolated cell, let it be on the top, becomes uncomfortable. 
because of the negative flame rate. Because isolated bar cells that cause us problem or disease processes or inflammatory processes actually strive better in a positively charged environment. That's why when everybody is sick, if you check the fluidity level, they're usually plus 900, plus 1,000 millivolts. So we are treating drugs is increasing this oxidative stress. We have to counter the effect and put their person in negative. Now, the system resource is the contributes 20 percent based on those three models I told you. 20 percent to youth staying healthy, 20 percent for revitalization, 20 percent for preventing genetically linked problems. The idea you should just like you do, I tell people, you service your car every three to four months. Why do they do that for the non medical partitions? You want the lifespan of the engine to be there because you have to change the golden green oil turns to black and you have to change filter to have the lifespan of the engine. Same thing happens with the corn. Most colorectal problems, cancers, polyps, many, any kind of GI problem can actually be preventable, highly preventable by 100%. If when you are healthy, you are practicing the routine system detox. The idea is every organ deposit toxins, so you are expected within a uh, four, six months period for the healthy person to do a colon evacuation. In a hospital case area, we have the colonoscopy of enema. This is invasive. This is pure biomedication that takes out the slag and toxins, which actually embed in the lumen of the colon. And that's why today we have success uh, records of diabetic patients within a, a specific period of time, they are off their drugs, which never happens in orthodox practice. But we have a lot of diabetic patients that are off their drugs today, and they're just modulated their lifestyle. And that's it, because of coral health. Because they observe colon evacuation routinely. And with that, the restoration of the insulin receptors responds back comfortably without a problem. It's a structural problem. But when it's structurally compromised, we have to introduce drugs to do the work of reduction of those excess sugars. So this is the ideology of our approach. Once you do a system detox, you've cleaned out the system, then you cannot think about supplementing the body. Some companies get it wrong. From the beginning, you start taking supplements. No supplement will work. Generally, they are classified as nutraceuticals if something is not drug because drug is used for treating these are kind of chemical therapeutic agents. So if something is not drug, any other thing you're bringing on board is a supplement. But the question is what category and when do you administer the supplements? General supplements in the market are for care, health care. But it's important you have to supplement a clean system, a detoxified system. This is the whole ideology. And that brings us to the toasted supplementation. Supplementation only contributes 10% to one's health. So I said earlier, super hydration, 50%, system detox is 20%. If you want to uh, uh, um, want to assure your longevity, by 70%, it means you must always observe the first and second. The first is constantly we encourage people because the parameters are there. You're minus 60, so why do you bring in something else? When I did some kind of water research, uh, I, I run the searches for organizations. Water, water research. The best water at, at, actually available in Nigeria is the Nestle because it's that kind of but the positive charge of Nestle is about plus 202 milligrams. Also, it's crap. And I'll tell you why these things happen based on the fourth step, which are neglected. And the first step we have uh, introduced to the coral approach is purely preventive care. And this fourth step, if you observe it, you preserve health hazard by 20%, which we call the super protection. First is the water. Water should be stored purely in a non-exposed environment. But it's unfortunate, I will tell you clearly, the increase of breast cancer in Africa started more when you start, we started bottling water in plastics. Because the research done in California, biphenol A is a potent carcinogen. And the biphenol A is released how? On a little exposure to sunlight, to that plastic bottle you are holding, drinking your water, biphenol A is releasing every minute. In Europe, it's a two years jail sentence if they see anybody exposing plastics. But see what happens in our country. People use it to demarcate their shops. The carry system is wrong. So you tell you, you're intoxifying your water, but you don't see it with your eyes. And these are the things that make the water more highly oxidized. So we encourage people, we have this risk. You have to reduce your water medium in order to keep your life by 50%. Second is the food. How do they produce food? Cancer patients in Europe, we never give them inorganic or chemically produced food. They eat only organic. 
If the parts of your body are called organ, what do you feel it? You feel it organic. I can't be a Nigerian and I say I'm from Togo. That's what we do in Africa. Practicing chemical farming. So we encourage as education to observe the right models of the feeding. But the greatest risk is technology. I happen to associate with the researchers in Moscow Falcon Institute where we were talking, uh, studying the radiation hazards. Every single minute call you take from your phone, a thousand persons get agglutinated. One minute call. But we have billions of these. Most of the gliomas is because of the phone calls. The researchers have proven it. We submitted reports to World Health. But again, it's a politicalized system. We're waiting for full-time uh, approvals. But they only said one thing. Check any manual of any phone. That's World Health recommendation. It's written in the manuals of phone. Use your phone six minutes per day. Who does that? That's the recommendation. I know I tell, just as I tell, he happens to know that to see the Every banker will eventually end up with cataracts as a rule. I get to controversial with it, but that's the fact. Because there are three radiations that come out from the computer system. The first is the blue visible light, which the sense of of sight through the brain coordination will tell you to get a shield because it moves up to 50 cm. But there are two other radiations which the body doesn't detect. You have no sense of them for it. That's called the radio frequency non ionizing radiation and the low frequency, which is a slow killer, non ionizing radiation. Radio frequency non ionizing radiation moves up to 2 meters. Same like microwave. If you're cooking your food, you're cooking yourself. We've done all this research and it's actual. So, what do I do? I can't do without technology, but how bad do I use my technology? For the women, they're always locking with the phones. They have the only challenges of the brain damage. Men. The reason of onset of bite, um, benign prostate hyperplasia because the phone is always in the pocket. Every minute, the phone's radiation interacts with the prostate gland, and there will be enlargement, one of the contributing risk factors to BPH. If you have the activity or the habit of putting phone in the breast pocket, risk of cardiomyopathies. We have done all this research. They have proven the evidence based which are part of the files I gave you. We can read through to them. So we encourage people, how, as health practitioners, how do we prevent these hazards? That's the challenge. You're sitting in front of the computer at least two hours a day. This is how it happens. You develop a computer vision syndrome. Sometimes, have you sat in front of a computer, you remove your glasses and try to ease off your eyes. That's the sign of computer vision syndrome. I don't need to send it to an ophthalmologist or anybody to Just that's the sign, the initial sign. Now, when that's happened within a space of five years, the sequence, I'll, I'll get later the booklets of regarding the sequence of occurrence of cataract, which will benefit you all to read. When it happens within five years, you have the risk of development of a full glaucoma. That's intercocular pressure. Then after 10 years, optic damage will commence. Macular denser of the retinal wall with that with degrade. That's cataract. That's how it happens, and the opacity of the lens will set in. So it's unavoidable because we're using our technology. And on the phone, what's the character? What's the sequence? You hold your phone beside your ear. It's at the position of the midbrain. In our midbrain, we have what we call the pineal body. What is the duty? It's to release melatonin. Melatonin is a good neurotransmitter to the midbrain and the um, structures like the cerebellum for our muscle coordination. Whenever the phone <coughs> is beside your ear, you shut down production of melatonin. The duty of the melatonin so that it can accumulate during the day so you sleep at night. You never wonder, we sleep at night normally and wake up in the morning. Without melatonin, you won't sleep at night. So you bring up technology, use the phone. Some people talk one hour on phone. That's when you should shut down melatonin in one hour. Most of the unexplained, unexplained insomnia is because of the phone. These researchers are there. I've given them the whole of this. So we encourage participants because we're the first line of people that meet patients. We're the first line of people that advise people how to stay healthy. That's why we have developed the coral health modality. And the word of coral is actually to put the cells, if you follow the single word, put the cells on rejuvenation and longevity. And that's what it means worldwide. Or to be the constant, uh, continued optimal revitalizing active lifestyle. But for us in African sense, because when I made a presentation to Federal Ministry of Health, they told me the average lifespan in Africa is 45, 50. But it's wrong. Remember, the normalization should be 120. So why did we throw our 70 years to? 
these are the reasons. So we encourage practitioners, no matter your field of study, your field of discipline, we encourage you, no matter what you are, become a career health consultant as well as a cellular expert because you have the best therapeutic outcomes for your approach to your patients. And then we educate people on how to do preventive care. It's very, very important. So this is the model we have developed, and this we call the hydrogen 500, H500. It means hydrogen that went through a Nobel Prize 500 pair reviewed articles by scientists around the world. That's the name for H500 there. The H is hydrogen, 500 means the number of articles that were scientifically based across 42 countries. So that's why we developed it, and we put this single capsule that goes into your 1.5 liters, makes the water negative 100 as a rule. Then, again, cancer patient, remember, above minus 300. HIV, I didn't say that. HIV patients, we give them negative 700. It doesn't mean a cure for HIV. We'll keep them on HIV lifetime. They never become AIDS patient because negative 700 stops the fast replication of the retrovirus process in the RNA and DNA. So this is the uh, achievable goals we can also do here as practitioners. So currently for Nigeria, we are waiting for the CNDs and NDs to pass their voting, which they promised to do, but again, it's a political system. I'm still working on a medical tour, visiting them one by one. They wish to do this and become, become a law to inculcate it in the hospital system. But independently, I have to work with fellow food soldiers. To so reach out patients, we talk to people, um, you know, the believers, so what you have to guide them right there. The major aim for Africa is to create longevity. The 4550 that is average lifespan are so wrong. So for me, the core means to me, we have to create together, optimally revitalize African lifespan. That's what I call coral in Africa. And I can't do it alone. I need colleagues to do it. Thank you for the audience. I don't know if you have questions, please go ahead.
whenever you drink your water from plastics, it means you're taking it day to day by phenol A. And by phenol A, what does it do? It's a carcinogen activator. I like to use the case of Brexit because it's too much here in Africa. Normally, we advise the ladies to do self breast examination and everything. Again, the two risks is the water, from what medium are you taking it, and what kind of cosmetics are you using? Because the skin, the skin has pores. So when you intoxicate the healthy cells, this is how it happens. Healthy cells get isolated because of the intoxication you cause to them. And once they get isolated, they activate the genetic coding for that disease. And they start to segregate themselves. When they segregate themselves, all unhealthy cells move through the lymphatics. We have four bands, the artery vein, the nerve, which is isolated cells, which in future are the cancer cells, go through the lymphatics. They travel to the lymphatics, trying to find somewhere to isolate. When they are isolating, that's the reason of lung formation. Lung formation means clustered unhealthy cells, isolated cells. Then we have to plan a lumpectomy or something, right? Usually it's lumpectomy. If we don't grab the hole, and when it happens, there will be free radicalization, creating a capsule to the lung. Capsules you see, it's free radicals that have eventually created cancer, like a shield on the healthy cells, on healthy cells. We have to grab the whole capsule during surgery. But if you don't grab the whole capsule, you've created a wall against the body. Because if you leave even a drop, no, normally we use a physiology uh, solution to drain before we close it, right? The idea, if you don't grab the whole capsule out, there's something left. They become more energetic to become purely cancerous cells. They will reform again. They easily form back again the lung. But when we start progressing, then we will think about, okay, we must also identify their aggression by not uh, missing to do biopsy. That's the idea. Because we have to wait for the histopathology report to come out. Then we can do the studies of their progression. So this is the whole picture. But again, on coral health uh, modalities, we've achieved the goal and, and can benefit the surgeons in Europe. Any lump less than 5 cm. We usually don't do lumpectomies. We do assimilator sequence. It's a 30 day program whereby assimilator, what does it do? It assimilates through the lymphatics, takes out all isolated cells from the same channel they try to isolate, from the same channel they assimilate them out. But they don't go out of your body, they go directly to the large core. Then you plan a colon evacuation after the process. So that's what we do. We've achieved lots of that even in Nigeria for people with less than 5 cm. But if you have uh, myomas, 15 cm, then you don't waste them, of course, it's so. So just to give you a benefit of this. Thing.